The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. So we're going to take a look at a few of these markets like we usually do, starting out today with the FTSE. As you can see, this has been a vertical move here for the first uh, few days of, uh, of the year, including the last few days of last year. But there is a, a the market has reversed uh, several hours ago, of course. We had that three drive uh, to a top pattern uh, that was there. Of course, we want to look at, that was the FTSE. We want to look at the German DAX now. We were looking at something very interesting there also as you take a look at this you'll see that the uh, german dax uh you know also uh reversed after we got up to that uh abcd pattern that lined up uh, pretty good folks from my perspective the thing that i was watching the most this week was how the euro was going to act and the reason why is that is such a large contract, folks. You're talking a trillion dollars a day they do in the euro versus the U.S. dollar. And as we look at that, I'll bring this up here. Uh, I put this in the newsletter and focused on it quite a bit here. If you'll give me one second, I will get it up here. And uh, all I got to do now is find the doggone thing. Here it is. Just give me one second here. Okay, you'll see here as we're looking at this euro over the past uh, six months, in the last, since November, we have actually been in a trading range from uh, 114 all the way down to basically 119 and change. Now, what that meant to me is that, that was a very weak one-month rally. That's what I was looking at. As you can see, we took out the highs of November 29th by about 10 pips. That was on Friday. And then, of course, Sunday night, you know, we started to go lower. We're about 100 points lower on the downside. So that's why I think that's very important. I'll, I'll focus on that more this week because we need to look at it on the weekly basis to see what this could be. But that means that the U.S. dollar should start to strengthen. Because the euro is 53% of the dollar index. So if it goes down, it means that the dollar index must go up. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go look at the dollar index. And that is right here. All right. Now, as we look at the dollar index, you're going to be seeing a market that has been exactly the opposite of the euro. You'll notice here that we're having a 382 retracement. OK, that was a, that was a similar to the 382 to the upside on the euro. That was the dollar index focusing right there at the 382. That's one month's action, folks. We take out the lows of November 29th by two pips in the dollar index Sunday night. And you can see what happened uh, after that, a big move up. Well, the theory goes, if the U.S. dollar is going to be strong, that means people are going to be moving into paper and they don't want hard assets, which would be something like gold. So the next thing we wanted to do was to look at the gold market that we were watching. And we'll just get this up here. <clears throat> I sent this out over in the, in the newsletter, of course. And then we sent a video early in the early, early afternoon on Sunday as the gold was opening. And we opened exactly at 18326 $1,832.60. The high was uh, $1,833. Uh, we're now down to uh, $1,800. That has a, a $3,000 profit in it. What we're doing is we lo located our stop at $1,812 dropping it down from the break-even point, and that takes us to the area where we don't want to lose anything. At least we start out the uh, the year on a new trade uh, probably totally pretty good. The only trade we already have on is just the S&P short from 18. Let's try that again, 40, 47.94, and our stop on that one is also uh, breaking even. Now, an interesting ha thing happened in the gold because we watched this on a 15 minute to give us an idea. You'll notice that we have a very nice uh, head and shoulders pattern 
that developed here. You see the left shoulder and the right shoulder was lower than the left shoulder, and that was coming in uh, right at a, uh, a 61% retracement there at 828, and then it broke down. The key there, folks, is once once it broke below 822, 1822, you can see it how it started to accelerate. These, these programs are programmed into these algorithmic programs, folks, that you're trading against all the time, so try to pay attention to them because they do give you a lot of information. They, they, these have to be the way these things work because when you see these patterns unfold, a whole bunch of orders come in and boom, if you're in, if you're on the wrong side of those, you know, you got to be careful. And believe me, you know, you do get on the wrong side of them, but that's what your your stop protection is supposed to be. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. By the way, our guest tomorrow will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Wednesday, we're going to have Tim Bost, Financial Cycles Weekly out of Florida. And on Thursday, we're going Thursday or Friday, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest from the Harley Stock Market Letter. And then with God willing, and usually she is, we're going to have Joe Don Napoli in either Thursday or Friday, depending on how I can work it around. But uh, he's not an easy duck to get in, uh, get into the pond. In other words, I have a hard time communicating with him. He doesn't answer emails. His phone goes to a messaging system, so I'm not sure whether he's going to be connecting and all that stuff. But we'll be able to uh, look at that as we go through. And I wanted to share a few charts here from uh, Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is right out if, because Mr. Elon Musk just made. Hold on, let me blow this up so we can see it just a tiny bit bit better here i think we can i think we can here we go where is it oh dear not so much nope can't do it but you'll be able to see it easy enough this is a picture of in 1999 the man of the year was none other than who mr jeff bezos you can see when the article came out and then you can see what happened to the price of amazon that if you had a scale down buying program then it worked very very well after the end of 20 years but when you get your picture into time magazine's person of the year folks that carries a great deal of stuff we have uh, yeah, well i don't mean stuff it's just pressure and stuff that's involved in they have a tremendous uh, ability to pick people right at the tops or the bottoms uh, on Time Magazine. If you like sports, I can remember Pete Rose. Uh, I believe it was in 79 or 80. He was the man of the year, uh, person of the year. Tiger Woods was the person of the year. Uh, and some of these people, it's just tr truly amazing how well it's timed. It's all due to the psychology of it. But uh, when you see that, you need to pay very, very close. And of course, Elon Musk is the one that is uh, on top of the market there, uh, or top of the, uh, the pub, uh, tabloids uh, on the person of the year for Time Magazine. Now, another one that uh, the Cycles Research focused to us was the uh, real estate market because in the, uh, I believe it was either Architectural Digest or one of the others, it was the headlines was uh, through the roof. In other words, prices going absolute crazy in real estate and as you can see here we're starting to see real estate prices roll over a little bit you know just since uh, you know the 15th of, of uh, January of last year when they were really really high and you can see how we've rolled down here today so we'll see how it's going to end up but uh, this is what we're watching on some of these things. I bring this to your attention because these are things that make markets move, and we like to see how they move and, and why they do it. I don't know. I've got a section here in a little bit that we're going to go through, and I will give you my two cents worth at looking at some of these things because I'm not uh, actually 100% sure how some of these things work. But you know what, folks? Nobody else is either. We're going to be right back. 877. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we need to talk a little bit about the Treasury bonds now because the yields have started to spike again today. If we look at the Treasury bond market here, one of we've been very, very bearish on it for quite some time. We broke through the 78% retracement support here this morning up there at 115.06. We've dropped a full handle down from that level. We did break that very, very important support. However, However, the largest of these interest rate functions or contracts that we look at is the Treasury notes. And the Treasury notes have not done that as of yet, but they are a heartbeat away. They're only two pips away from breaking that. So what I'm watching is to see how it handles this. Remember, folks, this is the largest of all the futures contracts that we have, uh, well over, uh, gee, I think it's $8 million or something like that, the open interest. And the low that we made back in on the tw right before Christmas on the 24th, of, excuse me, that was Thanksgiving, 24th of uh, Thanksgiving of a month or so, six weeks ago. That low was at uh, 12, uh, 129. Uh, 129 uh, 16 and the low today has been 129 17 so we haven't taken that out yet now there should be some stops there folks it's going to be very important remember this how big this market is this is one big I mean back in the old days in the 80s uh, when I was there at the Merck I used to go over to the Board of Trade to, especially on Fridays when they had uh, the uh, uh, the fish fish sandwiches that they had at the uh, the uh, eye of the trader and uh, but every I would go down into the T bill pit excuse me the T T note pit and T bond pits visiting friends and my God that T note pit was huge the T bond pit was much wilder because you know they have greater volatility there but the T 
T-note pit and the euro dollar pit. The euro dollar things look like a football field, but that's trading U.S. dollars abroad. But those notes were really, really big. So taking that low out and not breaking uh, into new low ground would really be very important because if it's really bearish, that means they're going to go into that low and close lower today on those treasury notes. Now, I'm watching that uh, very closely. Now, I wanted to bring a couple of things that uh, was sent to us by uh, Rich Anderson. Uh, one of them uh, comes from uh, KKR, Colbert, Kravitz, and Roberts. Uh, they do a great deal of research and stuff, and I wanted to show you this is what's been happening over the past 30 years. You'll see that the, the net wealth generated by stocks between 1990, only 1.5% 1 of all the firms. You see, this is all, it's just been a few firms that have been doing this. You're talking about 1,000 firms at the uh, 1.5 level, uh, 316 firms at the 80% uh, level. And look at the others. The, the, uh, the last part of the market, you know, some of these things have not really done very much. So we're looking at a one-fold market. Now, there's another way of looking at it. And this comes from J.P. Morgan. And I'm just going to, because I, th I thought it was interesting because it shows you that, uh, by golly, it's a bifurcated market, as uh, Basil always says. You'll see here in the, top, in the bull market, in, in the top 10 shares, look what happened in those top 10 shares folks those were the big leaders and that that's continued to be happening so uh I, i'm just bringing it to your attention that you know you there's something that we look at that's why folks i am just a technician you know i get a lot of flack sometimes say why don't i look at the fundamentals folks all they do is confuse the heck out of me if i can see a chart i have an idea of where i'm going to risk and that's all i really look for nothing more nothing less i'm going to share with you at the break when we come up here this next break what i'm looking at at in something that I looked at many, many years ago, and we'll walk through it again, and we'll see whether it means anything or not, and that's related to the stock market. And we're going to start off with the Nikkei Dow back in uh, two, uh, 1989, uh, New Year's Eve, and we'll start from there, and then we'll move forward on what we're looking at on some of these other things uh, that we're looking at uh, here today. But those are the main ones that I'd like to uh, you know talk about, but I need more time at the break uh, to get those things working. And that's what I'm waiting to do is when we get that, I'll spend the whole rest of the time, you know, looking at that level. I'll make sure I covered all the sh charts I wanted to do today. FTSE bonds. Yep, 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 yep. September 3rd. Okay, there's what we're going right now. Another question that someone asked me uh, by email over the holidays was, do I think this is the top in the stock market? Folks, I don't know whether it is or not. You don't get any extra points for picking a top or picking at bottom, but you do get points is if you put a trade on based on a pattern and it either works or it doesn't. That's it. You know, there's no other ifs, ands, or buts about the whole darn thing. That's uh that's all I can tell you. You know, you don't really don't need to know more than that. You know, to be successful, you have to you have to focus on on what your risk is and not you know what the uh, what your profit objective is going to be. That's the key thing, you know, to look at. Also, also, uh, folks. We have had a situation, I want to bring this up in the corn because uh, this is one of the ones that I was really upset about when I took a little break here. We sold that corn up there at the 610 level and I risked only uh, 6 cents. If I'd have risked my usual 10 cents, that would have been a, a, a great trade, but uh, unfortunately I didn't do that. And that's what happened those last three days. I got stopped out of three things. You know, we were making pretty good money and all the other stuff, but the three that I got stopped out of, you know, would have been big winners because I moved my stop a little bit too close. So what I was trying to do at that point was to see, uh, you know, that I could get my risk down to a too small amount. And that's one of the biggest things you can do, folks. When Mark Douglas was, ex and I helped Mark look at these accounts from Merrill Lynch, there were 10,000 of them. The people that lost the, the, the most and most often were the A, the people that put their stops too close, and B, those that didn't use stops at all. So the key to part of this trading is you've got to define what your risk is. And that's, that's the thing. If you can define the risk of what you're looking at, then you've got something better. What I did during those times, I didn't define my risk properly. And I was, I was overtired for a whole lot of different reasons, and I've got that all out of control now. Now, but uh, that's neither here nor there, but that's all part of trading, folks, you know. 
you got to live with it. You know, it's the greatest business in the world. But by golly, you know, when you make mistakes, you've got to realize it's time to take a little break. So we're going to have some really great markets here for 2022. You can see how we're we're reacting today. We've had these wild swings. The Dow, uh, the Dow was up 150, went down to be down 50. The uh, Nasdaq was up almost 160, went down to negative, and then bounced back to be positive. I mean, these are these are huge swings that we're having here. I I think I see why it's happening. But again, you know, it's just my opinion of what I think is going on in the markets, and I'm not even. Uh, you know, like I, somebody gets, uh, John Jameson gets on my case because I say I don't know. And he said, people don't pay you for not knowing. And I said, well, they have to be realistic because by golly, you know, you've got to be able to uh, tell the folks that, you know, you know, what you do know and what you don't know. And I don't know where the markets are going most of the time. I really don't. Okay. We had a question about natural gas. We're looking for a buy here in natural gas with this week, folks. Uh, hold on. All right. Yes, sir. Mr. Z, follow Mr. Z and you'll be in the money. Mr. Z is the king, pal. He is very, very good. We appreciate him, everything he does here at TFNN. Here's the natural gas, folks, over the last uh, uh, several weeks. You'll see here that we had some really nice ABCDs. We just made a new contract low. We rallied up to almost 50%. We're now coming down to test that low. The key level that I'm looking for here is at 350. That's what I'm looking for. We're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even 
give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, I want to go back to uh, December 1989. The Nikkei was trading uh, right at 39000 and change. It was a uh, foregone conclusion that it was going to hit 40000 Well, the high was on Chris, uh, New Year's Eve that year, and it uh, dropped from uh, 39000 all the way down to uh, 7100 I've posted the chart. And, now, these are not easy to see because the data, you know, I, A, I was never trading that, but B, I was watching the patterns. And if you look at that very closely, you'll see the high was 0.3, and then 0.2 was in 1983. The next one was 87, and the next one was in uh, 1989. That was a three drive to a top pattern. If you want to, you know, go and search it online, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. You'll be able to see that very, very closely. I remembered this uh, very, very closely because uh, I was watching some things uh, in happening in. Uh, Hong Kong, that, excuse me, in Japan that were really crazy. In fact, is one of the things they had on 60 Minutes was they had a picture of uh, the real estate, how it was going crazy in uh, Japan at the time. And the uh, broadcaster for uh, CNN, he had a $1,000 bill which is a picture of Grover Cleveland Alexander, <laughs> Grover Cleveland. And uh, hold on a second. I've got to check to see what's going on here. Uh where I was in, I was in Pismo Beach, California, trading in the trading room up there. That's where I was. Anyway, but uh, what we what we were looking at at that time, uh, he, he had a thousand dollar bill, and he put it on the he put it on the sidewalk in front of the Imperial Palace. That thousand dollar bill, which is you know it's about three inches by uh, two and a half inches, uh, excuse me, five inches by three inches roughly. A picture of a Grover Cleveland on a thousand dollar bill, and he says, "This is how much real estate you can buy in Japan." For a thousand dollars, I mean, it was. A, you can imagine how small it was. And my daughters were there. We were watching the show together that evening. And he said, "Dad," he said, "We have those bills." I said, "Yeah, I gave, I got you those when you were really little, and you know, they're in the safety deposit box. Uh, save them because they don't make them anymore. Now those bills have a premium of uh, thirty-five. You have to buy a thousand dollar bill is going to cost you thirty-five hundred because they're just not in circulation anymore. They're still legal tender, and you could use it. But if you did, you be taking a big hit because you can sell it to a coin dealer for probably three thousand. He resells it for thirty five hundred. But anyway, that market went all the way down to seven thousand. When it got down to seven thousand, this was in two thousand and one, I believe, two thousand and two. Uh, one of the famous guys on uh, in Wall Street was talking about there was no absolute any chance that the Nikkei was ever going to rally again. It was probably going to drop down, you know, somewhere around 2000, which where it was back in 1955. Well, that was the low and away it went. Hey, I'm not I'm not saying anything about about I, I'm not even going to say who the man's name was. He was quite famous. But hey, everybody makes mistakes. Heck, I make them all the time. The reason why I'm bringing to your attention is that three drive to a pattern to me is the one that really makes a great deal of sense. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, look at a couple of things that uh, I, I want you to see here. And let me get this up here. And this is the one that we're watching. There's the three drive pattern. We'll get this up here in the old uh, room here. We've been able to, there it is in the S&P. We have the same thing in the Dow Jones. We have the same thing in the NASDAQ. We have the same thing in the uh, uh, our, our, no, not the Russell because that was too weak, but uh, that those are the ones that we were that we were watching, you know, extremely closely, and that's why it's so so very important to pay attention to that. Now I want to uh, before I get uh, move along here, uh, I've got to well I'll do this a little bit later. I want to show you uh, what I did here. Hold on one second here. I got to get that 2009 when where is it? here it is right here. Okay, I in 2009. Okay, I wrote. A, I was. I had been with TFNN for a year, and I came out in March of that year, and I brought this pattern to your attention. It was a three drive pattern, 
in the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, it was trading right around 66, right around 7,000. The low was 66.60, I believe, on March the 5th. And from there, the Bradley model, it was predicting for a low around that time of the year. So we had a really nice three drive to a pattern. At that point, so I said that looks uh, looks like it makes uh, you know pretty good sense. But there was something else in there that really brought to my attention. I didn't quite I didn't quite understand the meaning of it until much later. And even then, I'm still hold on just a second. Uh, even then, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to put up here now. This gets into the astrology stuff, and Shane Smolian helped me with this quite a bit, especially with this chart with the Bradley. But you'll know here, uh, this is where we were on March the 5th of 2009. You'll notice how all the planets are in the upper area here. There are very few, only the really slow-moving ones like Neptune and Saturn. Uh, all of them are in that same quadrant. That means that these planets are moving around and they're getting ready to be at zero degree, right at conjunction. So that's why it, I think it was very important. I, I'll just, I'm just bringing you a case. Whether it means anything or not, you know, I, I don't really know. All I know is that we were at those levels and we had to pay very close attention to them. Since we look at 1.618 so much, I wanted to bring this to your attention too about the NASDAQ because on the weekly NASDAQ, we hit that exact number. I mean, it was just absolutely the exact number. And I think it's very, very important. So we have a pattern that's a three drive to a top pattern. Okay. Now take a look at where the where the where the planets are here on December 29th when we had some type of a top. I don't know, but look how they're all on the left side this time. Instead of on the top, they're on the left side. That means they're at a different time. They're just coming together, you know, making some type of a of a bigger move. And I think that's why this could be a very, very important. You have to have a three drive to a top pattern, A, and B, you have to have the Bradley model lining up. And we, in fact, do have the Bradley. And we have, thank Mr. Shane Smolian, the wolftrader.com. You'll bring this up here and you'll see, look where it topped, 1229. Now, it may be a coincidence, it may be not. And all I did, hey, I, I did this stuff after the pattern, folks. I, I saw the pattern, I said, look, I got to do that. The other stuff, someone brought it to my attention, so I went in and looked at it, said, yeah, well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But that, that's all I'm doing is I'm just lining the ducks up along the wall, and if they line up really good, then that's good. If not, then that's it. There's one other thing that's really super important, folks. All this is, is really facing a master, I mean, just a, a terrible uh, oh I've got to get the other one up just one second I got so much information here today that I have a tendency to get it uh, effect but we have look at this folks this is the January effect that you're going to hear about all the time in other words the first five days of January could be uh, the indication for the rest of the year well here's a 70 year from 1950 to 2021 that's 70 years folks it only worked 22 out of 70 times they're showing you the 22 times that it worked the other parts of the time that it didn't so it's a great indicator and if it does do that then that's uh, really what you want to look at. You'll see that 1973, which was in red, that was leading into the crash, the October crash of 1974. And if anybody learned something from that crash, please raise your hand. And as those of you watching here, I'm raising my hand because that's when I learned the value of money management. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be 
paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I put the uh, chart of, from the Elliott Wave Theorists up there. It's really got some, they should be complimented for this long-term study here in the NASDAQ. But if you'll notice here, I put that arrow in there because their uh, predicted target was, uh, excuse me, this was for the Dow Jones, not the NASDAQ, was 36,488.53, uh, and the projection was for 36,488.51. So they missed that by uh, 12 points. So I sent them a questionnaire why they were off by so much. That was a joke, folks. Anyway, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is I would like for you to go to the middle of the chart and look at the Roman numeral 4. Okay, folks, that was August the 9th, 1982. That's when the bond market bottomed at around 56, and of course we're at 160 now. Uh, interest rates were about 13%, and from that level, away we went to the upside. That was the beginning of my uh, uh, belief that we probably were gonna see something spectacular, but that was long before. I was just trading at the S&P uh, on the floor of the exchange then. They couldn't even get people into the S&P pit. There were only five or six locals in there trying to make a deck, you know, trying to get banks and get business, but nobody could get any business because nobody understood what the S&P was, and no one really cared because the action was in T-bills, foreign currencies, and gold. But as the market progressed, you can see it became very, very popular. Once we cleared $1,100 in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which was in 1983, uh, that really triggered, yes, the bull market had started, and, and away it went uh, to the upside, and it's continued to go. This chart is so interesting because that number was exactly 
like what we were looking at in the NASDAQ that I posted about four charts ago. That was the weekly NASDAQ number that came in just absolutely spot on at the 1.618 and also a three drive. So I, I'm just looking at the numbers. That's just what I'm watching. I can't uh, say any more or, or less on that. But let's go back and take a look at a couple things that might help us. If we go back and look at other markets, let me get some of these up here. Let's Here's 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 one right here. This was the top, uh, the, the the recovery high, in the Nasdaq, in twenty uh, twenty thousand. Okay, this is March, the twenty fourth of twenty thousand. Okay, you can see again. You see how all the planets are lined up on one side of the natal chart. This is a 360 degrees, folks. These planets are always jumping around, but when they line up like this, that means they're lined up like pin, uh, uh, bowling pins. And that means something. What it means, it means there's cycles that are there. That's my interpretation of it. You know, I, and you can see these come from Shane Smolian. He gave us all these charts. I, anytime I ask him for a natal chart, he could come up and show me. Now, they don't work all the time. Let me show you the one from 2007, which was, in fact, a, a monster high. And you'll be able to see here is the same thing. The difference is you must have the Bradley model lined up with it. The Bradley model is just a compilation. Now, look, this was the top in 07, October the 7th. If you remember October the 8th, Mr. Bernanke was out in the news saying, you know, the lights are green. This thing looks really good. And there's nothing that we see on the horizon that could give us trouble. And the NASDAQ dropped 85%. So this is different. You see the planets are lined up all around the natal chart. They're not big spaces between. That means there's, you know, fluctuations in here that we don't know. Now, I'm sure and I really strongly believe that if there is a holy grail, it will be related to some of these astral cycles. But frankly, I quit looking for it a long time ago, folks. I'm happy with A, B equals C, D. And when you use that with uh, three drives and all the others, that's the edge that you want. And that's it. Uh, we're going to try to have Norm on one of these days. I've asked him to come on, but uh, he's not been able to get back to me. But when he asks to come back on, I will be happy. I've invited him, and hopefully he will come back. We've got some other great guests also, so we want to be watching. I want to cover a couple others here. This is the one. Here's the big one, folks. This is the really big market. This was the top in the stock market in September the 3rd, 1929. Again, you don't see anything like this. I mean, there's a. Uh, you, you can see most of these are lined up in one side again. You see, it's only these little slow moving planets like Uranus and Saturn that are not in the in the in the mix. In, in March the 5th of 2009, all of them were there. I mean, every single one were in the top of that list. That's why that was such an important cycle. Now, all I'm doing is matching the eight, you know, the three drive to a top pattern and trying to find if the Bradley model is going to line up for a potential cycle high or low. And that's what I'm uh, waiting to see so far. It's, it's worked, but, you know, that doesn't mean that it's uh, – we're seeing volatility today, folks. I mean, look at the Dow Jones. It's, the Dow Jones has swung 400 points already, and we're only halfway through the day. So it's going to be uh, very, very exciting to watch some of these things. Now, the key to all of this relies in the U.S. dollar. You know, we hit that 382 retracement, and we exploded out of there. That's reversed the euro. That caused gold to back off because if the dollar's strong, there's a tendency for gold to back off, and that's all that's been. Now, it's down down over $30 an ounce here in the first few hours of uh, uh, January 3rd. Where it's going to go uh, is anybody's guess. My guess is maybe a little lower, maybe a little higher. All we did was we lower our buy stop down to 1812 and that locks in a $2,000 profit. And as, as we go lower, we'll, we'll keep dropping that stop to, to lock in more profits. But the next the next uh, support on this thing doesn't come in till till 1780. And we're just breaking below uh, 1800 right now. So we want to see, you know, how, how that one unfolds. Uh, tomorrow's uh, early in the morning, we will do a uh, some things on the grains because we've had some big things happening in the grain markets. Uh, the crude oil, I posted the chart of the uh, the gasoline 
which is very similar to the crude oil chart. And uh, it basically shows you that, uh, you know, we made a 61% retracement there on Friday, and we've had a pretty good sell-off today. They bounced off the 61% retracement uh, from the low of December 2nd so far this morning at 74.50 uh, per barrel in the crude oil. So that's another one. The, the key ones to watch, folks, is they're, they're tearing the uh, Treasury bonds and the Treasury notes up today. So watch that closely because if we close sharply below those level in the t notes that i posted earlier that has really strong implications that we're looking at much higher interest rates which we've been saying you know for a long time now i have to tell you an interesting story during christmas holidays sarah's three-year-old grandson zane he had he had a box of candy that he had for christmas and i said give me the box of candy and she he said why i said i want to i want to keep it for you she said, okay. He said, why are you keeping my box? And he said, well, I said, I'll give you the candy when I think it's ready. Well, I want some candy now. I said, no, you can't have any candy now. He said, when can I have it? I can't tell you. Will I ever get it back? I'm not sure. He said, that's not fair. And I said, not only that, for, for me holding this candy, you're going to have to give me two pieces from another box of candy, so I'll hold this candy for you. That is not fair. He said, I want my box of candy. And he grabs it away from me, and he walked away. Boys and girls, that three-year-old just described what negative interest rates were all about. I mean, give me a break. How could somebody be naive enough to think that you're going to hold their money, and they're going to have to pay you for holding their money and give you no guarantee to give it back? Are you kidding me? You talk about upside down. Every day, in every way. We'll be right back. 877-926-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. 
For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a, I, the three most important charts that we're looking at today, starting the year. Uh, treasury notes, treasury bonds, as you can see here, the notes are getting ready to take out those lows. Now, if those lows get taken out today, and this market does not just literally move to the downside sharply, I will look to be a buyer, because I think it's just very, very oversold. We're due for a little bit of a rally, but there's a case where I want to be watching the risk control. I want to see when these bonds take out the 129.16 if they have then i want to see what happens after that point because i know that that is where there's going to be you know, making new lows for the year and especially you know starting out the year the note the bonds you see are a little bit higher so all i'm doing is i'm just focusing on how much you have to risk to see if this is going to turn whether it's going to turn or not i don't know and uh We'll, we'll watch it. Now, also the dollar index. I posted that. That's very, very important because you remember the movie, uh, uh, what was it called? I can't remember. Uh, oh, what was the movie about uh, Watergate? What was it? All the King's Men or something like that? I don't remember exactly. But remember, it said follow the money. And that's what we're doing when we're watching that U.S. dollar. Because if the dollar is strong, gold's going to be weak most of the time. And that's what's happened so far. But what we're doing is we're relying on the pattern to get us into the trade. The news is secondary. So remind ourselves to watch these interest rates. And believe me, the stocks can rally in the face of rising interest rates. We can see we've seen this over the years. And that's uh, pretty much what's been happening. Look what's been happening to stocks over the past 10 years, or eight years anyway. We topped, what, five years ago and four years ago in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. And the darn things have been going straight up in stocks and interest rates have been dropping. So you know, look at each chart separately and you're going to be far better off than if you try to figure out, well, why is this happening? Or why is that happening? I don't know. I all I do is I keep saying I don't know, and you know why? It's because I don't know. One thing I do know is when I'm wrong and I want to get out, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Someone's asking a question. Uh, oh, we've got some new uh, – we've got TD Ameritrade coming up next, and Steve Rhodes, and then Tom O'Brien. May God bless, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. 